Hey, what's up guys, Lord Civic here, and today we're going to be unboxing the new PG32 UCDM, the Asus 4K 240Hz glossy finish quantum dot OLED display. This monitor has basically got it all. This has been like the end game that people have been uh, wishing for for years. And you know, honestly, with saying that, um, Endgame honestly keeps like moving. Like I know people have been like waiting for 4K 32 uh, inches for a long time. It's crazy that this even has 240 Hertz. It's crazy that it's quantum dot OLED. It's crazy that it even has like all of these array of features. It's supposed to be getting freaking Dolby Vision in the summer, which is just like, what, a monitor? But regardless, um, in addition to this monitor dropping, we also have the MSI, I forgot the model number of that, but it's also 4K 240 Hertz. I know it doesn't support Dolby Vision. I know it can't get updates, um, only the 34 inch uh, ultra wide can. And then you also have the Alienware, which a lot of people don't like. I'm kind of indifferent. I just really wanted the Asus because I just really like the aesthetic and different stuff like that. And then also the Dolby Vision feature is really cool. But that one comes with a curved display, which has pushed some people off, but it's also cheaper than this one. And the MSI is even cheaper than both of these. And then later this year, well, even as soon as next month, we have an LG monitor. It has a matte finish, but it has 4K 240 hertz. In addition, it has a 1080p 480 hertz mode. And then we also have an Asus that's dropping later. It's nuts, like it's absolutely nuts. And I, I never in a million years believed that displays of this caliber would even come in OLED variants. You can see right here, I have the G9 OLED. Um, when I was talking about that and doing an unboxing video, I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, I didn't even think it was real. Um, but regardless, there's two things I wanna say before we hop into the unboxing and the setup of this. Uh, first and foremost, if there's any specific games that you wanna see on this monitor, I know that this thing has been ridiculously hard to get. I have been right there with you guys in the trenches on the Reddit forum threads I read. I was updating the threads every like hour. Um, I had hot stock app, I had distill, everything installed. Like it's been hell trying to get this monitor and for you guys that have gotten it congratulations for you guys that are waiting on back orders or, or waiting to order in general good luck um so as i said if there's any specific games you want to see on this display make sure to comment that comment that below and then also and additionally i'm going to be starting the stream um this week with dragon dogma 2 and i'm going to start playing like overwatch on the regular on twitch I'm gonna put a description, put put that in the description below. Now saying that, um, if you guys have any questions, as I said, put them in the comments below or hop into the Twitch stream. You can ask me right there live or whatever. And with saying that, hope you guys enjoy the video and please hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, so I'm gonna try to slow it down because I'm kind of like rambling. Sorry for that whole like beginning thing, but it is 9 p.m. here. UPS came with my order a little late. They were supposed to be here since seven or whatever. Not really blaming them because you know, packages, it gets busy and different stuff like that. Regardless, anyway, first and foremost, let's talk about how hard it was to get this monitor. So first and foremost, uh, Asus and Newegg had the bright idea, I forgot which one of them it was, to drop this monitor at, I think it was 3 a.m. my time zone, which is just like nuts. It was rumored that it was gonna release at like eight or whatever. And everybody was like super pissed because, you know, obviously some people got it, you know, night owls and stuff like that. But there was a whole assortment of people that didn't get it. And then I think it came in stock. I might be wrong on this. I think it came in stock early in the morning or maybe like midday or whatever. And the stock just went out immediately. The site was slow, whatever. And then they've been having these little restocks um, every couple of like weeks or whatever. I was part of the 228 batch and it's insane because there's people that are part of the 2.6 key batch that still haven't got their order for Newegg. And I was part of the 2.28 batch and not everybody in the 2.28 batch got theirs. I remember the exact moment I got the in-stock alert from the Hot Stock app. Give me one second. Um, you guys definitely got on my case about the um, G9 OLED video. So I'm gonna make sure I do this completely right because I put the monitor up on his friends. Yeah, you guys ripped me a new one. I, I read your comments. I might not respond to all of them. Um, I try to if I can, but you guys definitely ripped me a new one. Um, so, okay, what is this? Ooh, okay, see, I caught it. See how careful I'm being? Okay, so I'm guessing this is a member's notice right there. Uh, this, it comes in a really cool pouch-like thing. I have no idea what this is. 
Welcome to the Elite Republic of Gamers community. I love the aesthetic of Asus, like everything, like you can't really see it here, but if you check some of my older videos, and maybe I'll try to take a shot of it as well. Um, my entire computer case is Asus. Um, I have Asus uh, CPU. I'm not Asus, Asus CPU. Asus uh, CPU fan, Asus case, Asus motherboard. Um, it's neon Genesis E big L on the case is really freaking sick and I love the aesthetic colors. So right here, we have the power adapter, which I'm going to carefully carry over here, set it down right here. Honestly, this is really freaking cool that it comes in this bag like thing. Okay, display port. Um, honestly, I really, I understand why they don't because it would cost more, but I really wish companies put like larger display ports in the bags because you know, a lot of these monitors, especially as they get faster and have higher requirements, um, this monitor actually also only supports 1.4 display port with DSC, which yes, is not able to be distinguished to the like naked eye or whatever that it's like, you know, I guess compressor. I don't know what DSC exactly stands for, but I do know what it's, it's doing. Um, wait, oh, this is an HDMI, a 2.0 HDMI port. See, that's, that's different. I wish it came with a longer display port, but I have to applaud them. I, most of them don't come with both an HDMI port and uh, um, a display port. So you might be wondering why I went with this specific model because you know, it's more expensive than the MSI and it's also more expensive than the Alienware and then you also like Lord Civic. There's an Asus one coming out later. CRS could have 480 Hertz. So um, I do love 360 Hertz and above. Like I, in my PG 2070 AQN video, I spoke about, you know, how dreamlike it was playing at that uh, not only resolution, but also at that refresh rate. And, you know, honestly, this is already really expensive. I have no idea in God's name how expensive the Asus is gonna be later this year, because this is $12.99. So I'm guessing it's gonna be upwards of at least 1500, probably even more, because you know, Asus tax or whatever. Um, and I'm in the US, luckily, but I know I've seen a lot of these uh, prices. Oh wait, let me. Give me one second. I've seen a lot of these prices because, as I said, I've been on the forum, on the 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 Reddit threads, reading basically anything. I literally during the day will type in the word PG27 AQN, and I don't just read the posts that are on OLED subreddit. I also read basically every post that's available on the uh, web. Okay. So yeah, as I said, I'm kind of like an Asus fanboy. I'm not really a big fan of a curve on a 16 by nine monitor. When it comes to ultra wide or super ultra wide, I'm kind of like indifferent. Um, you guys got into it, well not got into it, but a lot of people were kind of on both sides with, you know, curve, not curve when it comes to super ultra wide. But for me personally, when it comes to 16 by nine, I'm not really particularly fond of that. Power brick, which I believe, is it the MSI to Alienware? I can't remember, there's, gosh, dude, there's so many freaking monitors coming out lately. It's hard to keep track of everything. And I've been reading all this stuff and I was ready for this video, but like now that I'm actually like doing it and it's 9, 8, and it's 9 p.m., it's kind of hard to remember everything. But I know that one of the monitors that released or yeah, released already, does not come with uh, a power brick. It actually has the power brick mechanism, whatever, in the monitor itself, which, uh, you know, it's easy to repair. Re it's easy to repair a repair brick, but it's difficult to, you know. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, let's put this back in. Let's put this back in. Going to get the manual. Let's see what the manual says first. Am I supposed to keep it in the, <sighs> let's see. Okay. Okay. So you are supposed to put it down the same way that you are the, the, the G9 OLED. So I'm going to take it out of its plastic, showcase it to you guys, and put it back in the styrofoam. I uh, went well, back in the styrofoam, uh, but back in the styrofoam enclosement case thing. Uh, oh, it's really cool. It comes with the bubble wrap on the front. I, I've seen some people with the Alienware talk about hair-like scratch fractures on their uh, front of their monitors. 
which um, luckily I have never suffered from an issue like that. Um, I really wonder how I would get with the Alienware lottery if I did do that case. I do know that they're now uh, putting bubble wrap or enclosed covers over it just so they don't have the, uh, the similar issue anymore. Um, so I'm actually really excited about, you know, this monitor and this resolution and different stuff like that. A uh, big reason that I'm like a Quantum Dot OLED fanboy now is... Uh, if you guys have been following my channel, I, wow, it's been like almost six months now, got the uh, Sony A95L. Dog. Most beautiful, not even the most beautiful uh, display I've ever experienced, but the most beautiful piece of technology I have ever encountered. Well, not encountered, that's, that's a lie because there's some stuff that, you know, consumers can't buy that I've been more impressed for by, but when it comes to something that I can own and something that I can use every day, easily the most impressive piece of technology I've ever seen. And I, I don't think this monitor will uh, surpass it. It might, you know, it might impress me close to it, uh, but it doesn't reach up to, what was it, 1400 or 1600 nits? When I play Alan Wake in Control, it reads 1600 nits, but supposedly the max of this monitor is only 14, but not this monitor, the Sony A95L. Okay, I'm trying to be careful with it. Ooh, that's not, okay, okay. Was I, no, I wasn't grabbing my screen. Well, it didn't look like I was grabbing my screen. Okay, so, dang, this is kind of tricky. I'm sorry, I can't really like stand it up. I kind of want to like, you know, move it. But um, here, maybe I, can I take this out? Yeah, I can, okay, Never mind. I can. I want you guys to be able to see it so you guys get an idea of what the setup is like. Let me put this on the ground, don't worry, it's safe. I wouldn't, I'm not gonna do any foolishness again. Also, let me put the manual right here. So we're gonna drop the box right there. And we're gonna put the monitor right here. So this is the styrofoam encasement that's like inside of the box. And you can see right here, this is how it looks. Um, in the manual, in the manual it says that we are supposed to Showing some sticker. Oh, okay. Let's take this off first. <laughs> it is crazy though. What I was saying earlier, I'm sorry, I've been just trying to focus on this tape is kind of oh there's like an enclosed mirror but yeah what I was saying earlier it's crazy that people say this is the end game monitor right but with technology continuously I hope that's a word continuously advancing getting even further and further and you know we're supposed to have like the 5090 and the 5000 series I think Blackwell or whatever those monitors are gonna have display port 2.1 and that's going to just open up an allotment of speeds and resolutions that we didn't even think were freaking possible. We are now accomplishing 4K 240 hertz. Yes, it's with DSCA, DSC, but it's legitimately insane what is even possible. Okay, so let's see. We're supposed to put it in like that. Okay, see, really good. And then we're supposed to take this stand, which is very aesthetically pleasing, I should stay. I love just the look of Asus products and different stuff like that. I know a lot of people don't like the super gamey look, um, especially if you're like in a professional setting. But for me, as a gamer, I love it. Um, let's see. 
where is, I remember seeing, oh, here it is. I saw like a screw in the manual, so I was trying to see exactly where that was. And this isn't for that, I don't think. I think it's this. the bottom stand that goes on the stand. It usually comes, wait, no, this isn't. I am so confused. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's pushing that into here. And then, is there supposed to be? Oh, I was looking for this screw. Um, and let's see. It's supposed to go like, oh, like this. Okay, let's screw that in. Honestly, I was supposed to, my toolbox is right there, but. We'll just make two. Also, in a second, I'm gonna see if I can bring the manual to the camera. So, basically, what you're supposed to do is put the monitor, the stand inside to there, and then there's a screw at the bottom of this stand here. You screw it into there and you can like swivel the monitor and stuff like that. And I'm gonna stand it up in a second here. And then it's showing this, which we'll figure out whatever the hell that means in a second. But let's stand the monitor up here. Okay, there's a sticker on the front for some reason. Turn the monitor around to you guys. Okay. Hey, it's kind of heavy. I know the box said what it was 33 pounds or whatever, but it's a chunky boy. So yes, I'm touching the screen, but it has like a finish on it. So I'm not like actually touching the screen. Okay, let's grab this manual real quick. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay, so if I'm correct. Oh, okay, so it's basically showing how to eject. Well, I'm saying it's basically showing. So it's basically showing here at the, uh, how to eject the stand if you wanna take it off. And then this right here, I guess, is if you plan on wall mounting. Um, and then I have no idea. Oh, no, no, not wall mounting. This is if you're planning on putting on a mount. I have no idea what this is specifically for because maybe it is mentioned in the manual and I'm just not seeing it. No, I don't see it in the manual. I guess I'm tripping, I don't know. I have no idea what this is. Maybe it goes on the back or something somewhere. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Regardless, I'm gonna move over to the computer. I gotta clean it off a little and then we're gonna hop into the setup and I'm gonna probably play a little game which you guys showcase give you a sneak peek of what this monitor holds and then as I said you know we'll go on okay finally got it moved to the desk this thing is freaking gorgeous and there's a lot I need to cover because you know when you get the monitor there's a lot you need to set up so first and foremost um, the button is right here behind the little uh, Asus logo and first of all you can see this this is a big boy this is the G9 OLED which is a 49 inch monitor and you know, obviously the uh, uh, height wise, this is gonna be bigger, but I had no idea it was gonna be that much bigger. It clears it from here to here and then here to here. I need to put it in the middle and align it or whatever. Whatever, anyway, it's a big boy. Regardless, when you get the monitor, behind the ASUS button is where the analog is. Uh, you're gonna wanna go down to the image and uh, turn it on to HDR setting or whatever. By default, HDR is off. Um, currently right now I have gaming HDR. Uh, 
Cinema SDR also looks kind of nice. Um, I guess it's more so for movies and stuff like that. And then there's also console HDR, which I believe has the highest peak nits brightness. I might have read that wrong. Um, and then there's display HDR true black. Um, so I'm going to keep it on uh, gaming HDR. Um, I know one of the HDR modes puts uniform brightness on by default. Then in addition, after you go and do that, uh, not display settings, what you're going to want to do, I guess it's different if you have an AMD card, but for NVIDIA, you're going to want to go to the NVIDIA control panel. I also need to make my UI light a lot brighter, not brighter, uh, bigger, because uh, I know the text can be small on 4K displays. So by default, this is at 60 hertz. You can see that I have it set to 240 right now. Uh, but yeah, make sure to change that once you get it. Then also, I'm going to link it in the description below, but there's a uh, Reddit thread that talks about the first driver. And I guess this is how it's going to be for, you know, other drivers and stuff going forward. Uh, you're going to want to go to the uh, ASUS PG32 UCDM website, go to support, and then go to driver utility. Uh, you're going to download the ASUS PG32 UCDM WHQL driver. Once you download it, it's going to download a file. You're going to open that file and extract it. Then after you extract it, you will then go to device manager. Um, and when you go to device manager, you go to not display adapters. That's the graphic card. You go to monitors, find the PG32 UCDM, press on update, and then make sure you put the file in a, uh, places you can find it, or you can keep it in downloads if you know how to navigate to file folders. So right here, um, I have the driver. It is under the downloads folder. You click on the downloads folder and then it's going to be something with a long string of like letters and numbers. You click on that and then it is going to install the driver for you. Um, before you do that, uh, the monitor is not going to be like recognized for it's more like advanced stuff. So like right here, I guess I don't have the drivers for G9. Oh, I downloaded it because it's not showing up there. But anyway, when you go to my PG32 UCDM, uh, it shows the exact resolution, shows 240 hertz, it shows the bit rate, shows the color format, color space, and it shows as Visa Display HDR 400 True Black 1.1 Dolby Vision, even though it does not support Dolby Vision. It's showing 455 nits as the peak brightness. I believe that is a bug, um, but you know, that's not important or whatever right now. Uh, right here, um, I'm not gonna play it out of the speakers because, ooh, let me play it out of my kef. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. Uh, we're gonna play, I'm playing some Persona 3 right now. So, right there, you're gonna see it. Watch the opener and then we'll play a little. I don't think I'm at a point where I can go to Tartarus, but no, I don't even have a save that isn't Tartarus either, but we'll see. I mean, this is just, as I said, a sneak peek. I'm gonna do like a whole gameplay video of this. Let me put it down so I don't accidentally click it. Boom, boom, boom. I'm loving this game, honestly. I just haven't had that much time lately. I'm about like, I think 20, 30 hours in. Now, this game doesn't support HDR. I believe it has auto, it works with auto HDR, but it's not perfect. Ah, dude, this music slaps! Oh my goodness!
like I can see some crushing there because as I said this game isn't native HDR but it still is actually pretty good the black levels are very impressive Just to be correct, let me make sure that I believe I have HD, auto HDR on. Yeah, I have auto HDR. Let me turn up the P nits brightness of SDR. But I don't know if SDR brightness matters for auto HDR if you're using any game. I'm not gonna even save this. I only come here on the like special play day, but just want to give you guys like a sneak peek. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, some videos I plan on doing some gameplay on this is Spider-Man, uh, Alan Wake, uh, Doom, Overwatch. Um, as I said, I'm gonna be streaming, so if you guys wanna hop into stream, I'll put my Twitch uh, links and stuff in the description below. Uh, this video's been pretty long, I think, at this point, but regardless, I'm really excited to, to hop in and see all the extraordinary things with this monitor. As I said before, if you guys like what you see, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe button. And with saying that, I hope you guys have a good day.